Although Adana starts our route definitions within our start directory under routes.ts, in actuality it doesn't really care where our routes reside so long as we inform it where it can find them. So although they can be anywhere within our project structure, we're going to cover a couple of different options that you have, starting with the one that Adonis outlines within the comment block within our routes.ts file. So essentially, we can put our routes anywhere within our file structure and import them within this routes.ts file, and things will work just the same as it does out of the box, except our routes will be within those imported locations. So essentially, we can create another directory. It could be anywhere, but here we'll put it within our start directory, and we'll call this routes. And within our routes directory, we can really split our routes up in any fashion that we wish. So here we can create a posts.ts file. And of course, we're going to need the route module. So we'll import that. And then we can take all of our post based routes out of our routes.ts file and plop them into our post specific route definition file. So we can cut all of these out, move them over to our post.ts file. And now they're out of our routes.ts file. But one last thing that we need to do is import them from our routes post file. So we'll import and we'll do it relatively from routes posts. And we can give that a save. We can open up our REST client and we can verify that things are working just the same. So the fact that we did not get a 404 here means that our route's working A-OK. -okay. So that's one of the options that you have to combat a really long routes.ts file. Another option as mentioned within the documentation is to kind of split your items up within modules. So for instance, you could have a directory under app called modules. And then you could have a particular directory for say a particular model and then you could put the routes within there and then what they're doing here is they're importing those within the start routes.ts file just as we did with our post routes right here so that is another option that you have so you could within your app directory create another folder call this modules and then within modules you could create another folder called posts and then within posts we could have a file called routes.ts. So now this would essentially be the exact same thing that we have within our routes post file, just within a different location. So now the premise of this approach is that now we can put in addition to our routes, anything else within our application that's regarding our posts within this modules post directory as well. So for example, later on, we'll get into services, but we could also do a service within this directory as well. So it's just another way that we can kind of structure our application to keep things to our liking. And then, of course, instead of importing our routes post file here in order to use the module, we would then want to import app modules posts routes. We can jump back into our REST client, send that request off again, and you'll see the fact that we did not get a 404 means that that too is working just fine. Now, maybe you didn't want the routes file to be within the start directory at all. Maybe you want it directly off of the root, or maybe you want to import just from your modules instead of importing directly within the routes.ts file. So Windows actually doesn't like me moving files while my server is running. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my server here. And let's go ahead and just move our routes.ts file out into our root directory. So now it's right off of our application root. If we close all of our directories here, you'll see it's perfectly visible. We have start closed and it is right here. So first and foremost, if we had our server running, it would probably throw an error. So here we could try starting our server back up. Yep, and there's our error essentially saying that it cannot find the module start routes. And the reason Adonis is looking for that is because that's how our Adonis RC has that configured. So you can see within our preloads here, we have start routes being searched for. So instead of telling us to search for our routes within the start directory, essentially we just want to get rid of the start directory and save it as just routes. And there you go. You see our server is now back up and running. We can attempt to send off another request, and you can see that we did not get an error. Everything succeeded a OK. So that's how you can go about moving your routes directory. I'm actually going to go ahead and place that back to where it was inside of the start directory. OK, let's first just quickly make sure that we got everything still in working order. OK, with that knowledge, we can really structure our routes any way that we wish within our application structure, so long as we either import it within our routes.ts file or inform Adonis where we've moved our route definitions to.